Hi, this is Tawny from Lacuna Cosmetic Inc. Today I'm going to be reminding you of some of the pre-care elements that we went through in your lip tattooing consultations. So first of all, you want to make sure that you are well prepared for your appointment in the lead up to. So um, you want to make sure that you're not going to be bleeding during your appointment. So things that can make you bleed are alcohol within 24 hours, coffee within 24 hours, and then within the week we don't want to have any painkillers, any antibiotics, any fish oil, any vitamin E supplements. Um, or other medications like warfarin or blood thinning medications. So definitely make sure you're following all of that. Um, we do want to make sure that your skin is going to be in a healthy state for tattooing as well. So please don't get sunburnt within one month before your appointment. Um, and then no professional skin treatments as well within the month. So we want to make sure we're not getting like microdermabrasion or laser resurfacing or um, peels or any of those um, more intense treatments so that your skin's not in that sort of healing state before we even go ahead and tattoo it. Um, and then we also want to make sure that you're not using any retinol or vitamin A uh, within one month as well because it can thin the skin barrier so don't use any of that. Um, and then with filler and Botox we want to have um, no filler and Botox within four weeks um, either side of your appointment um, just for safety reasons and to make sure your skin's nice and settled and ready to tattoo ready to tattoo. Um, now, like we touched on in your consultation, we do want to make sure that we are preventing cold sores. So if you have had a cold sore ever in the past, even if it hasn't been for a really long time, it does mean that you have the herpes virus dormant in your system. Now, um, that virus can actually present any time that you have trauma to the area, for example, sunburn or your run down and these sorts of things. Now, of course, uh, lip tattooing is a fair bit of trauma in the area and it can cause an outbreak to occur if you have that virus in your system. Some people can have the virus in the system without actually knowing, like if they had an outbreak when they were very young. So it's important for everybody to be aware of this. We do recommend for all lip tattooing clients to visit your GP about a week before or even your pharmacist and get some health advice from them. As I'm a tattooist and not a medical health professional, I can't actually advise you to get pharmaceuticals, um, but I definitely, if it were me, I would definitely go ahead and get their opinion. There are certain preventatives um, and medications that you can take in the lead up to avoid a cold sore outbreak. Um, if you do get one, obviously it's not going to be very enjoyable, but it can of course affect your healed result as well, which can then require further sessions down the track um, to achieve your goals. So just make sure you're doing those sorts of preventatives. Um, now, I do want to touch on what to expect as well during the day, just to remind you. So you'll come in, we've of course already done your co uh, color consultation um, during the consult process. Um, so we should have that all locked down. Once you come in, we'll do your before photos and then we'll essentially get straight into your shaping process. Now, we can't actually change the shape of your lips, but we can sort of make minor adjustments. We never tattoo outside of the lip line um, or the Cupid's bow vermilion border because it won't look right. So we stay within your natural shape, but again, we can make minor adjustments. So we do spend a bit of time there just making sure everything's looking really symmetrical and beautiful. Um, of course, you'll approve of this before we do go ahead. Um, and then we're going to work on getting a really soft outline. So the outline is not a line. We don't do lip liner tattooing. It's just an overall blush of color, but we do need to make sure that we don't lose that shape during the healing process. So it's just a really subtle line for me to see. And then at that point, we will apply a bit of numbing or topical anesthetic. Um, now you'll remember what you, we went through in your consults um, about the numbing and how to get that. It is optional, you don't have to use numbing products. Um, I do highly recommend it and most of my clients do choose to go ahead with that just for your own comfort. It does have an added benefit as well. Um, there's something called epinephrine in it will, which will control bleeding and yield a better healed result. So if you do want the numbing, please make sure you organize that yourself. It's a medical grade pharmaceutical, which means again, as I'm not a medical health professional, I can't give it to you or supply it to you. Um, so you need to pick it up a couple of days before and bring it to your appointment. Um, that's gonna keep you essentially really nice and comfortable throughout your treatment. And then, um, yeah, it's pretty relaxing. You'll probably honestly go to sleep during the actual tattooing process. Once we get to the end of your appointment, which is about five hours in total, about two hours of prep and two of actually doing the work, um, we'll sit you up, check for a final balance, make sure we don't need to make any more minor adjustments. And then you'll be sent on your merry way and go through your aftercare, which I'll touch on in another video. Now on the day, your lips will be a little bit swollen. 
You can expect swelling for probably 24 hours, sometimes less, sometimes a little bit more. Um, nothing crazy, you can still go out and about, but they will be a bit swollen. And then in terms of color, you won't actually see the true color um, until your lip tattoo is healed. Uh, Cause on the day, of course, we've tattooed the skin. So you've got a little bit of redness. So even like a nude or a soft pink will actually look like a red color on the day. So don't worry about color on the day. Don't worry about swelling on the day. Uh, trust the process and go through the aftercare and you'll have a beautiful healed result.